So I know I just made a video yesterday talking about why you should probably consider selling your iPhone 11, but to be honest, I still think this is one of the most important iPhones Apple has ever made, and it's a very, very important iPhone right now if I'm being completely honest. Now the first thing I kind of want to put out there is that the iPhone 11, all of the iPhone 11s, the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max are some of the most important iPhones right now because of one specific thing, their price tag and their certified refurbished sales. So with the iPhone 11 right now, I think about a week ago, we got a little bit of a thing which basically stated that last year, certified refurbished iPhones, in particular with iPhones, were the, I think, took up 49% or almost half of certified refurbished phone sales of basically all over the world or in America or whatever it was. That's an insane feat for them to do. They currently sell several different iPhones, you know, in their certified refurbished market, but the lowest one they sell is the iPhone 11. All these iPhones are sold out, but I genuinely do think, I mean, even from last year and the year before, they were selling certified refurbished iPhone 11s for a long period of time, including the 11 Pros and the 11 Pro Maxes. Those were some amazing things that they've actually done, which is amazing in and of itself. Now, another thing that you know I kind of want to throw out there too is that with the iPhone 11s, because Apple actually discontinued them, you know, in the brand new market, you can't just go onto the Apple Store brand new, like a brand new Apple Store and buy it right now. Apple went through and they depreciated these iPhones like crazy in price tag. So even though for people who own them, it may be a little bit unfortunate, with something like the iPhone 11, what's going on with this iPhone now is that these things have gone down in price so much that genuinely you can buy something like an iPhone 11 right now for penny, not pennies on the dollar, but for a much cheaper price than before. So previously, if you're spending maybe like 300 to 350 on a brand new iPhone 11 or a used iPhone 11, you could easily pick one of these things up for probably less than 300, probably 250 to 300. So definitely saving some money there, which is another really, really big asset. On top of that, with something like the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max, anytime I compare one of these iPhones against the latest iPhones, this has been the same case basically since 2000 and basically since like 2020, since I compared it against the iPhone 11 Pros and 11 Pro Maxes, the 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, the 13, the 13 Pro Max, I've just been feeling so much better every single time that I actually look at one of those iPhones about how much better that specific you know phone has gotten. Meaning the older ones have been maintaining the way they've been feeling and performing for the last couple of years, which has been amazing. So overall, I definitely do think the iPhone 11 is probably one of the most important iPhones right now, and I would 100% recommend picking it up for sure. Whether it's the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro, or the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.